Dark Phoenix is a very bad S-Man movie. When you have a story that's forgivable and at the end that's not all that great but some of the cast members and generally poor execution, this is most likely the worst S-Man film I've ever seen. Before I saw this movie, I checked out the reviews online and everybody was bashing this film. I thought to myself, this can't be the worst S-Man film, right? Well, truth is, it is the worst S-Man film. And this movie completely does nothing for me. I mean, it's very boring. It's very bland. And it just got been so much more. The story takes place in 1992 where S-Man goes to save a couple of astronauts in space where Jean Grey gets infected with the Phoenix Force and from there the movie goes in all types of directions. I have to give praise to the performance of Jay's McAvoy and Sophia Turner. They did an amazing job playing Jean Grey and Professor and Xavier respectively. I really enjoyed their roles in this film. And the action scenes is also pretty cool to look at. Visually, some of the CGI, there, there's a prop. There, there are issues in this movie with CGI. But for the most part, I thought they did a good job with the action. Now, the negative aspect of this movie. I was wondering what the hell it was supposed to happen all throughout this film when I was watching it. And I was kind of hoping for a resolution, and I kind of didn't get that. This movie's very boring, like I said. And Gene Gray's moves are really never quite really explained at all in this film. And I felt utterly bored. I mean, what was the damn motivation? What, what motive did she really have? This film didn't deliver it. And to me, it just came off very disappointed at the the end of the day. Jessica Chastain is in this film as well. And she does a very bad job here. She's very boring and vanilla. Her villain is just terrible. And I really couldn't understand uh, what she like, really wanted. I mean, her motivation is clearly don't get it wrong. It's just she didn't add much to the story. And her performance is pretty lackluster. Now, despite how terrible this film is, at least what they could have done is work on the reshoots a little bit more. It's a scene in this movie where it feels like a completely different film altogether compared to everything else that's in this film. And I can't help but wonder, where did this film go all wrong? I think, case in point, they would have done a better job with this Phoenix story than... This film could have been a lot better. At least S-Man 3 did somewhat the story better if you look at it. And here it feels like it's mundane and redundant. And it leads to a movie that was very disappointing in my eyes. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this film a 5. This is probably one of the worst S-Man films, if not very well close to it. I was early, like I said, bored throughout the film. This movie did nothing for me, and the story was pretty lackluster. Now, if they had made this story more interesting, I could have been more invested. But I'm not saying that anyone in particular did a horrible job when it comes to acting. Just because Chastain notwithstanding, I really felt like this story right here didn't dive deeper into the meaning of what the Phoenix Force does to Jean Grey. It would be awesome if we saw Jean Grey struggle with both good and evil. Her ultimately deciding that she has to leave or protect everybody she loves. Something along those things would have made this movie a lot better. But no, instead... We get a whole movie's worth, if not a whole damn lot going on, story-wise. It really not adding to the character more of Jean Grey. This is a missed opportunity. I'm not really angry towards this film, I'm just disappointed.
This movie could have been so much more, and they just completely dropped the ball. Plus, with the <clears throat> excuse me, now with the ass man with the MCU, this is the end of an era. These films been been coming out since two thousand, and it's disappointing that it ends this way. But at least we got some better ass man films to look, to look at. Not only in the future, but also in the past. Anyway, this film was a major letdown. And that's my review of Dark Phoenix. Leave your comments section below. Let me know what you think about this film. Do you think this is the worst X-Men film that's ever been produced? Or is it kind of, I don't know what's the word, mediocre? To me, this film right here doesn't answer a whole lot of questions in terms of the character motivations presented all throughout this movie. And it's just a damn shame that it ended like this. Now, had the Marvel Studios not acquired the X-Men right we probably could have got a sequel to this film. But as it stands, this is, like I said before, the end of an era. It's the end of the Fox's S-Man franchise. And may it's for the best that we get new interpretations of the S-Man going forward. All right, am I going to review other S-Man movies? Of course. Later this month, I'm going to be reviewing the first S3, excuse me, the first three S-Man films later this month. Okay, this is Film Guy 172 saying, peace out.